Let's find out what's in the box. What's up YouTube? So today I actually have three animals in that box and we're gonna open it up. There's no sense in waiting around and me giving you a whole spiel. So let's open it up, see what we got. So we'll actually start off with this one right here. Um, so these are three snakes, three hog nose snakes, and it's a breeding group. However, I'm not a huge fan of line breeding, so the male in this clutch, which is this guy here, um, he will actually either be sold later on whenever I decide to look for another male, uh, or he'll be used for a different female or different sets of females later on. But as of right now, I have three 66% leucistic hognose. Um, obviously, this means that I hope that at least two of them prove out, whether it be the males or the females. So what I'm going to do whenever the females get a little bit bigger and they're closer to being a sub-adult, so probably halfway through breeding size, I will get a male, which by the time the females are ready, the male will also be ready because the females typically need a year or two more than the males do to start breeding. So hopefully that's, that timeline works for me and I'll be able to find either a visual leucistic or a 100% hat. That way I can actually see if I can prove them out because if I were to lion breed and breed this guy back to those females then essentially I would actually be risking it because if this guy ends up being not het leucistic, then I will never know if the females are het leucistics or not. So first guy is this male 66% het um, leucistic and open him up, see how his temperament is. Hopefully he's not an a-hole. So here we go. There we go. There he is. Not an a-hole. So there we go. That's the first thing we got to figure out. Are they mean or not? So, het leucistic. So, technically, it's a normal hog nose. Um, so, if I decide to sell him, obviously, he won't be that expensive whenever the time comes. But, normal hog nose. Um, there was something about one of the females that looked a little bit brighter than a normal. So, I was hoping that that was something that maybe meant het leucistic. But... Other than that, normal hog nose, and I'll compare them. I'll show you all three of them side by side so you can compare the way they look in terms of color. But normal hog nose, 66% het leucistic male. That's the first snake here. All right, so here's the second one. And the third one is actually back. So actually, I'm going to start off with the third one so I can show you side by side. Here we go. So, like I said, it's one male and two females. So, this one here should be a female. He guarantees gender, so at least we have that going for us. I really appreciated the fact that he either uh, tied the index card saying what they were and how often they have ate to the bag or taped it to the... You know what? I don't like doing this, so I'm just going to cut it always feel like the ones that are in the bags like this are always come out yeah see it's hissing already all right so female number one it a normal 66 percent hat leucistic so she is actually pretty big she's actually bigger than the two babies that i already have the male wasn't as probably this around the same size but this one's actually pretty big how big is this one? Oh yeah this one's 33 grams last time was weighed was 33 grams and the male was 25 grams which is about the size of those so you can kind of I mean no it's only like an eight gram difference but it's really noticeable when they're this small so pretty nice hey chill out. <laughs> third snake another female so another female here this one again is a normal this one's the smallest of the three snakes this one is actually 24 grams so she's only one gram smaller than the the male according to the chart there but smallest of the three snakes here so we have three hog noses three, three brand new hog noses to the collection and Again, this is for the leucistic project, hoping that at least two of them prove out because it's 66%. So, you know, I bought three, 66 is two out of three. So we'll see what happens. Um, 
I'll be fine if it's one male and one female that prove out because like I said, I could use that male for a different project, but pretty nice, pretty nice here. All right. So now I want to show you a side by side. I, now that I'm looking at them, I guess it was just the lighting. They all look exactly the same. So there's none of them that look lighter than the others. But essentially, um, again, it's one male, two females. And that's really all I got. And it looks like, huh, they all might be related, but one of the females is actually younger. So I think the female that is... 24 grams is a month younger than the other female, which is not a big deal, consider the other female is 33 grams, so it does make a little bit of difference there, because it has had five feedings versus five feedings, so they both have had five feedings, oh no, so this card is here showing, I was like, five feedings for that old, um, so the five feedings are based off of the last time the card was created, so since there was weighed, so at least five feedings since uh, I'm guessing 6-8, so June 8th, which is when I purchased them the first time. What was it? No, I think I purchased them end of June. So these, these were just brand new cards. But, so I guess I'll go ahead and talk about the person I got them from. I got them from Hognose Morphologics, and a uh, super cool guy worked on me with, because I actually did a... Uh, Oh, he had a 1.1 listed, and I was like, dude, let me get a 1.2. And he said, well, what do you want to pay for a 1.2? And I'm like, I guess not more than much more than a 1.1. So he did hook me up a little bit, but Hognose Morphologics is the person I got him from. And, um, yeah, give him a little shout out. Let me see how big these stickers are. Yeah, these stickers are going to be too big. Usually I put the stickers on the back or on here. So I actually just put this sticker on my incubator instead, which is perfectly fine. But... With that said, um, that was the unboxing there. I know it wasn't really much of an unboxing since you didn't even see me open the box up. I just wanted to see the snakes, all right? Um, I don't want to wait any longer. I just got home, wanted to see the snakes. So essentially, um, if you made it this far into the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that I put out in the future. As always, peace.